In this video, we will be reviewing some mock, open book, GPHC exam questions. At Mrs. D's quarterly checkup for her diabetes, it is found that her HbA1c is higher than usual and you are asked if this could be caused by changes in her medication. Which one of the following drugs that Mrs. D has started in the last three months, is the most likely to have caused the change in her result? Some students immediately jump for metformin, but look at the question, which of these drugs can cause a higher HbA1c, not a change in HbA1c, metformin should lower HbA1c. You can immediately rule out clopidogrel, aspirin and ramipril, as these have little effect on glycemic levels. Thiazides and related diuretics can exacerbate diabetes, gout, and systemic lupus erythematosus. This question is followed by three responses. Each statement can either be false or true. Use the directions summarization table to make your decision. 1. Annual influenza immunizations are strongly recommended for children aged over 6 months who have chronic asthma. 2. The influenza vaccine can possibly enhance the anticoagulant effect of warfarin. 3. The preferred route of administration is subcutaneous injection. The majority of vaccines are administered intramuscularily into the deltoid region of the upper arm. There is some debate whether the vaccines can alter INR, but there is a possibility that they can. Lastly, all chronic asthmatics are recommended to have the influenza vaccine. Therefore, B is correct. You see Mr. A in your warfarin clinic. His INR is 7.5, and he reports no bleeding. He drank more alcohol than usual two days before his clinic visit. The most appropriate action to take would be which of the following options? Dependent on the patient's condition, the target for INR is between 3 and 5. The patient's INR is above this at 7.5. Whilst this is not a medical emergency it is dangerous to binge drink or get drunk while taking warfarin. Doing this may increase the effect of warfarin and so increase the risk of bleeding. Male patients should be advised to drink no more than 3 units of alcohol a day, for women this is 2 units a day. Which one of the following patients, who do not have diabetes, has a 20-30% to 30 risk of cardiovascular disease over the next 10 years? As soon as you see a question like this, you should immediately know where to reference the answer. See the back page of the BNF. Toby, a 10-year-old child suffering from asthma which is currently well controlled, his peak flow readings are within the expected range for his age and he has not required his salbutamol inhaler for the last four months. Toby is due to visit his GP for a review. What would be the most appropriate action to take with regards to Toby's treatment regimen? according to the BTS guidelines. For this question you will need to reference the BNF for children, section 3.1. As always, for more information about the GPHC exam, click the links to subscribe to this channel, join our free online course, Join our Facebook group or subscribe to our blog.